Hey y'all, it's Victoria from Victoria's Plans here. And today I'm going to show you Erin Condren's new back to school collection. I was so blessed enough to be sent a huge box of lots of the different items that are coming out. This will launch on July 6th and I'll be covering most of the items that will be available that day, but there will still be some surprises that show up on the website. So I am super excited to get to show you some of the new items. I'm going to go ahead and tell you my top three out of the entire box that I received, what I'm most excited about. The first one is this repositional weekly um, whiteboard slash notepad. I am most excited about this. I think I've got the perfect spot right there for it. And I'm so excited because I'll let you in on a little secret. Next week, I'll be starting a new position with the company I already work for. I'll be working both remotely and in the office. And so this will come in handy when I am making my schedule for the week, as well as what calls I need to make um, and what needs to be done at home. So this will help me balance that work and home life when I am at home working. My second favorite thing is the new colors of the accordion pouch. This is gorgeous. I love warm, like mauve pink colors, and this has like the perfect array. I use these for travel. I put my toiletries and things in here, um, sometimes my cosmetics, things like that. They go in here um, for the ones that are in my desk and on my planner cart. I use for pens and white out and scissors and things like that. So, so excited about that to have new colors. And the next thing I'm so excited about is this three subject notebook. I know it sounds kind of crazy to be excited about a three subject notebook, but I currently have the A5 three subject notebook, um, which I'll show you when I'm going over this notebook. I'll kind of show you the size comparisons of the two, but I'm excited about this because starting my new position and I'm going to have to take lots of notes because there's no training for my new position. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> so I'll be taking lots of notes from others, um, trying to gain their knowledge and figure out how to move along in this current position. So I'm really excited about this three subject notebook. This is a seven by nine, just in case you were wondering, and it still has those interchangeable covers. So those are my top three things. Let's go ahead and get into the rest of the box. I'll go over prices with you. So you'll know those prior to July 6th, and you can go ahead and have your shopping list ready. Don't forget, once you're done watching the video, make sure you leave a comment below telling me your favorite item. I always love to hear the diverse um, favorites and dislikes of launches. So definitely let me know in the comments once you're done watching. All right, let's get started. All right, so July 6th, these writing utensils will be available on Erin Condren's website. All right, so let's quickly go through them and their pricing. We have a six pack of color changing brush pens. And what I really like about these is they capped them in the color the brush pen will be. And then they put the color that it will turn to on the bottom, which I thought was really neat. So the brush pens on the website will be $15.50 for the six pack. Then we come to the pastel square highlighters. I have no idea why they are calling these square highlighters. Um, they look very oval to me. They have a sage, mauve, orange sherbet, and lavender. And these square highlighters will be $10.50 for the four pack that you see. All right, and then we have the 10 pack of fine liner pens. I really like these pens. I think these may write quite similar to Erin Condren's Ultra Fine Tip, um, but this has a marigold, garnet, purple, amethyst, black, dusk, navy, cerulean, aloe, and aquamarine. And they're very like bright colors, which I am very excited to try out. This 10 pack of colorful fine liners will be $15.50 on the website, which lines up um, exactly with Erin Condren's pricing for pens. Then we have the Rainbow Gel Pen Duo that was sneaked in our last seasonal surprise box. This will be $8.50 on the website. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I didn't love the ones 
that were in the seasonal surprise box, but we'll see how these write. The next that we have is a two pack of magnetic pens. These will be $12.50 on the website. These um, I think are just a ballpoint pen. So excited to see those. And then the white fine tip wet eraser marker three pack. Um, I've seen quite a few people use these already and they are quite neat. These will be $10.50 for the three pack on the Erin Condren website. So um, let's go ahead and pen test each one really quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and test the brush markers first. The first we're gonna try is the gold to red. Oh wow, it's like immediate. That's fantastic. And then we have the tangerine to gold. That one kind of takes a little bit longer for it to show, but it's like almost instant. We'll try red to lemon. Yeah, this one takes just a second too, but very quickly shows up. I think I'm a fan so far. Try the teal to Kelly green. Oh, this does not look teal. That looks very sky blue-ish. And that looks very lime colored. Okay, well, okay, I'm not a fan of this one. I like the color that this puts off, but it in no way matches that color. And then this looks very lime green colored when it goes over it. That's my least favorite so far. And we have the navy to the cerulean. Oh yeah, okay, that's definitely a navy. That one definitely is probably the closest match I've seen so far. And then the Iris to Fuchsia. Iris to Fuchsia here. This is turning into like a bright pinkish color. Well, no, it's got a little bit of a fuchsia tone. That is the color changing brush pens. All right, so the pastel square highlighters, we have a lavender. And I don't know why these are called square. As you can tell, this is very oval shaped. It seems, I don't know, I have no idea why that's called square, but let's try it. This is lavender. These are very much pastel. We have an orange sherbet or sherbet. Then we have a mauve. And then we have a sage. So you have like a purple, an orange, a pink, and a green. But I'm not sure why they're called square. If you figure that out or know why, let me know in the comments. So those are the pastel highlighters. We're gonna go next into the um, Rainbow Gel Pen Duo. The Rainbow Gel Pen Duo has um, both the purple fuchsia and the like pink, orange, yellow. And again, I am not thrilled with these. They're, they're very neon. And they don't have a lot of color changing to them. This one is very much orange and yellow, and this is very much blue. Maybe I just haven't gotten to the part of the pen where it's mixing. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 
I am not a fan of these. My opinion has not changed. So these are the rim, Rainbow Gel Pen Duo. Then we have the Magnetic Pen Duo. Um, let's see how these are. Oh, so the lid is magnetic. So it, you don't have to worry about it clicking or a lot of times the pens with the plastic cap, the cap will bust. So like I have some metallic gel pens from Erin Condren and this plastic right here, if you push it down too far or you overextend the click, sometimes it will crack right here and then it will no longer have a good seal at the top here. I think that's a really good plus for the magnetic ones is you don't have to worry about the pen cap ever breaking. It's automatically magnetic. And it's magnetic to the other side, so you won't have to worry about flinging the um, top of your pen off of the end of your pen. So that's good. So let's go ahead and test these. Now these are write really well to be a ballpoint pen. And I don't see any skipping or blotting. Oh, really good, really good. Let's test the other. I like the colors of this one. I'm a little annoyed that these two colors don't match, but I guess that was purposeful. This one squeaks as it writes. It's a really smooth writing ballpoint pen. I give it to Erin Condren here. It's a really smooth writing pen. Um, and yeah, they're even magnet to each other. So that's the Magnetic Pen Duo. Whoops. There we go. And then we have the Colorful Fine Liner Pens. These Fine Liner Pens come in this really sturdy plastic packaging and the top kind of folds back and it tells you on the back here um, you pop the top backwards and then you bend this back and it kind of you can see where it kind of clips right here and then you push this out and you can see where they clip here Oops. Clip that in and you have your standing pins. So let's go ahead and test these out. We have Marigold first. Yeah, these are very much like the fine liner pins. These um, have a 0.4 millimeter tip, so they're extremely, extremely fine. This is a garnet. I have a heavy hand normally, so sometimes my fine tips will um, start spreading a bit. But I do like how fine these are. I can definitely see myself using these. I'm a fan of the black. This definitely looks green in here, but it's not. 
very much an aquamarine color. That is your colorful fine liner pens tested. We have one last one and those are the fine tip wet erase markers that comes in a three pack. And on the back of this pack, it tells you that you have to, with the cap on, hold the marker tip down and shake several times to mix the ink. Kind of reminds me of a can of spray paint. And then once you get it shaken up, you'll press the tip down on a wet erase surface several times until the ink flows. And we'll test it before we write. These are wet erase, so they're not intended to be written on regular paper. Um, but we're going to test it out on this regular paper here first. These are a type of pen that you have to prime first. There we go. These are the white dots that I made. This is kind of difficult. So as you can see, it does write on the darker surface. I think I'm gonna try this out on my blackout paper. Um, but next we will try them out on the repositional weekly whiteboard and notepad. So we'll try those out on that notepad just to see how they work on that wet erase surface. So this is your testing of all of the pens. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite. I am pretty sure my favorite are going to be the colorful fine liner pens or these white fine tip wet erase markers. I'm probably gonna use them on my blackout papers. Moving on to one of my favorite things that I was sent is this repositional weekly whiteboard and notepad. I, I think I'm gonna use this for work and personal. I think it's gonna hang on this wall right here. And the good thing is it is repositional. So you peel this back part off and this is your repositional sticky. It doesn't feel extremely sticky, but it does. Um, that's how it attaches to these smooth surfaces. This is a 18 inch wide. So 18 inches wide, 12 inches tall. All right, next up we have the accordion pouch. They will have it in a warm rainbow, in a cool rainbow. The accordion zipper pouches will be $16.50 on the website. That is what they already are sold for on the website. They have the gold zipper and gold accent on top. They have the zippers to unzip each pouch that is connected to each other. And they open up pretty wide. You can fit a good bit of um, items in these. This is a wipeable material, so if something happens, you can wipe it out. It is not a extremely thick material, but it does hold up really well through travel or through everyday carry. I use these for travel um, with my cosmetics and my toiletries. They go in here, but this is really perfect for a carry-on when you're wanting to organize your smaller items. This is absolutely perfect. I have put my jewelry in one, my cosmetics in one. I have put um, my toiletries in a few um, and then put extras for the trip in here. So I also in my desk have one that holds my markers, my pens, my scissors, my washi, my um, glue sticks. I have all those different things in each one of these in one of my drawers. It's a really good way to organize. So that is the accordion zipper pouch. Next we have the blush calculator. This was sneaked in one of our newsletters. And I've heard so many mixed emotions on having a calculator on Erin Condren's website. I'm going to start with the price of it. The price of this blush calculator is $14. Personally, would I spend $14 on this? Absolutely not. But it is nice and it does accent the blush pieces on my desk. So that is nice and it does work really well. I've already used it. Um, a lot of people say, why would you use a calculator when you have a calculator on your phone? Well, for me, when I'm trying to add things that are on my phone, it's easier just to grab a calculator and type those in. Also, I work for a bank and sometimes it's just easier to have a calculator beside um, what you're looking at on the screen or what you're looking at on your phone. It's just easier to have a calculator out to the side to be able to look at. 
So while I would not spend $14 on it, I am so grateful for it because I needed one. My old one was um, like a dingy white old color. I think it was from Staples and it was like $2. So it's nice to have something um, that looks pretty on my desk. I do like this that it has these rubber stoppers so if you try to move it it doesn't glide very easily on your desk so that's really nice one of the negatives i would say about this calculator is that it doesn't take a standard battery it takes one of the button batteries um, and sometimes i find that the button batteries can be harder to find in your department stores or your super centers so i'd much rather it have been like a triple a battery or something but here we are so I'm a fan. It does automatically like time out over time and it will cut off itself. There's not a off button here. So that is your blush calculator. Right. Next we have the gold bookmark ruler. It is a very sturdy ruler. It will be great for cutting washi tape. It has the Erin Condren asterisk on top. It is measured in both inches and centimeters. So you have both the metric system and the US system. Um, not only will this be a great washi cutter, but it will serve its purpose as a great bookmark. So we'll see the bookmark in action here. Let's try it on one page. Whoops. Let's try it on one page and it goes all the way down and it stands up. I will say, had I not been sent this, I would probably not purchase it. Um, a couple of reasons why I personally would not, you may love it, but I personally wouldn't because of how far it sticks out of my notebook, number one, or my planner. And number two, because if you can tell, it kind of bends the page. I am a huge stickler for things staying the way they were meant to be. Um, and they also leave marks on the top of my pages. So this will likely be used as a washi cutter for me. Um, it will fit perfect in the small side pocket of the agenda. I don't have my agenda out with me, but it will fit in that small side pocket and I will very likely use it as a washi cutter for my planner. So it will serve its purpose. So while I have this notebook out, this is a three subject notebook. This is a seven by nine size. These are your tabs that has an Erin Condren quote with some really pretty artwork. On the back of your tab now has like a productivity page. It has four bullet points in a box with some line pages in a longer box, a blank box, and a dot grid box. So this is laid out kind of similar to the monthly dashboard page that you have in your planner. It has quite a few sheets in between the next tab Again, a different color, another quote, and I sent another dashboard page. And then you have a, another tab, another quote with artwork, and another dashboard page. This notebook does come with one sheet of stickers in the back. That is the standard sheet of stickers that you would um, receive in a regular notebook. Now, let me show you the difference in this seven by nine three subject and the a5 three subject so this is the a5 three subject this is the sizing difference this is coil on top of coil so you have a good inch or so and then more space at the top um i'm going to tell you why i like the a5 better so i like it because it has both productivity and lined pages I really like my productivity pages, especially when I'm taking notes and need to pull out things that are important from those notes. Another thing that I really like are the dividers are pockets. I don't like the A5 having the pockets. I would rather the A5 have the original tabs. Um, and the reason is because when I fold a piece of regular paper, printer paper in half, it doesn't fit in this folder. However, if I had a folder in the seven by nine, it would fit perfectly in that folder. So while these did not have tabs, they did have a folder front and back for each section. This is the type of folder that's in the back of your A5 planner. So I thought when I heard they were gonna bring a three subject notebook that was seven by nine um, out to the site, I thought, 
hooray. I'm gonna have some pockets in my subject, so I'm gonna be able to fit my folded papers into there that I can keep um, for quick reference. That's not the case. There's no folder at all in the seven by nine three subject notebook. The seven by nine three subject notebook will be on the website for $24. The regular one subject notebooks on Erin Condren's website are $16. So this is just a bit more to have your three subjects. I will tell you that the A5 three subject is no longer available on Erin Condren's website. Um, I'm, I will miss it, that's for sure. So that is your three subject notebook. All right, the next thing I would sent was the Erin Condren Academic Planner. I'm not gonna go through this in depth because this is already available on the website. These are available on the website for $40. The planner that I was sent has the Groovy Blooms cover and it has the Color Blends inserts. So I'll quickly run through this. It does have a schedule at the front. It has the Heritage and Awareness Observances at the very front on your schedule tab. Ha allows places for you to write your class schedules um, and then has your monthly view as well as your weekly view. This is, while it's great for academic use, it could also be really good for horizontal users that like things broken apart um, or that like to make a list in their horizontal planners. Um, the only huge difference in this is that your days of the week are bigger, your weekdays are bigger and your weekend, you have very small sections. Of course, that is geared towards the academic side. Um, so each month is the same. Each month has the um, goals and events and the projects and exams page right after your monthly tab, then it quickly goes into the weeks. At, at the back of your academic planner, you do have stickers. Um, these stickers, I think, have been updated from years past. Um, maybe the colors or something has been updated. They definitely look like an ombre. Maybe that's the printing, but they definitely look ombre on these. Um, and it comes with the one sheet of stickers in the back of the academic planner. So next we have the um, reading log. This, this has been updated a bit. It does match, the pages will match the cover. So while this is interchangeable and it is on a plastic coil, I would probably leave this cover on just for matching purposes. That's just me. Inside this reading log, it has an about me section, and then it has a section for you to write your favorite books, favorite characters, favorite genres, favorite artists, um, and then like your favorite places to read. And then it has a place to, for you to put your reading goals of when you want to start and when you want to complete. Um, and then if you want to reward yourself, there's a place there for that as well. Then you have your actual reading logs. It has a date, a book title, an author, and minutes that you read at that time. So you have quite a few pages of your reading log. Then your next section is your book review section. And this has a overview of, and this has an overview of the book that you read, when you started, when you finished, the title, the, title, the author, the genre, what you read it for, um, how many pages, what the reading level was, would you recommend this book or not? Then it has a spot for what the book was about, what your favorite parts of the book were, and then if you wanted to write some ad additional thoughts or quotes or doodle, there's pages for that. That is a huge section of this reading journal. And then you have an actual book list on your last tab. And this is literally just a book list. It has book titles and authors. This says my favorite books ever. And it has um, a, quite a few pages of that. And then it goes into books I want to read. So if somebody is suggesting you books or you're asking for suggestions, you can write those here and check them off as you've read them. So there's a few pages at the back for that. So that is the reading log. Next, we're gonna go into the two notepads I received. This notepad was a sneak peek in the seasonal surprise box. So it is your self-care notepad that is sticky. And the next one we have is more academically geared and it has this week's projects or exams, has a has checklist for projects and exams on each line, any prep work you need to do, and then a block for you to write a quote or anything you need to there. 
It does match the groovy blooms that was the cover of the academic planner I showed you earlier. And the good thing about these are they are actual post-it branded notepads. They will have a really good stick to them. I did look on the back of this one and it is not a post-it brand, but I will say these stick pretty well. They stick well. While these are not a post-it brand, they do stick well. The next thing I have to review is the Snap-In School Tracker Dashboard. Um, this is for wet erase markers. It is two-sided and this does fit into both the seven by nine planer and the eight and a half by 11 coiled planer. The back side of this has a Monday through Friday listing. It has long-term assignment listing, upcoming quizzes and tests, and then a section for next week. While the front has a top priority section, an assignment section, and then a blank section at the bottom. The, the white wet erase markers that Erin Condren sent me um, that we tested out earlier, those will be really great or any other wet erase marker will be really great. Another snap-in dashboard that I received was a projects and exams tracker. This also will fit in your seven by nine and eight and a half by 11 planner. This gives me the Star Wars vibes um, from the Star Wars planner that Erin Condren brought out. Again, the white wet erase markers would do well. Um, and this has this has the front part for projects, your deadlines, your important dates, and also has the back for exams for you to list out as well as some more long-term assignments or upcoming um, exams. So really great for academic purposes. These ring agenda dividers will be on the website for $10. These are not plastic, but they are like a thicker kind of cardstock material with a shine on the front and back. They are not laminated, but yeah, they are just a really thick, um, shiny material. The last thing I received was this Pastel Functional Planner sticker book. This sticker book will be $15.50 on the website, and I really like the inside of this sticker book. These are the pages that you'll see. I'm going to flip through them. They will match pretty much any of the planner designs that Erin Condren offers. What I really like about these are these fit perfectly in the monthly um, day squares. They'll fit perfectly in that. Um, and then these tabs will as well. These fit perfectly across the day um, in the month squares. They fit perfectly. And what I really like is they made these icon stickers. These are gold accented. They'll fit perfectly in this block here. So if you got paid, you could put that um, dollar sign there and put payday, or if you wanted to do that and put what bill was due, you could do that. They have exclamation points, dollar signs, um, spoon and fork for maybe meal planning, and then um, shopping carts. Um, the next one, they have like spray bottles for cleaning. This looks like maybe a hospital bag. It has a little, it has the cross on it for maybe a hospital bag, a washing machine, and then some envelopes. So these will be really neat to indicate in these blocks what you, what that is for, or what you're going to write in that block. These are rose gold and these two fit in the monthly um, page of your planner. Um, they have payday stickers, so no need to write them on the others. And these two fit in those day blocks of your monthly view. And then you have some squares that will fit in either your right side of your horizontal planer or your vertical planer uh, blocks. These will be cute for sidebar of a vertical planer or a hourly planer. They can go down the side um, and have your little checklist or notes for the week. And it also has checklist dots. It has 12 um, strips of the checklist dots. Um, we have more of the smaller boxes. It has envelopes, looks like an open envelope, um, some medicine pills, and then hearts. And these look rose gold as well. Then you have some transparent sticky dots. These are transparent dots. If you wanted to mark these mark dates on your monthly planner, these will be perfect to do so. Or if you wanted to mark dates on your year overview. These will be great to mark those as well. And they have 11 colors of these. We have more boxes that will fit um, 
your vertical, horizontal, or hourly planner, and more checklists with some exclamation points. These are the regular silver metallic. And then we have some gold foiling. Um, they say weekend or vacation. These have the spoon and fork and some more shopping carts. More checklist boxes and um, boxes. I like this one, it says appointments and calls. So you can write out if you have appointments at certain times, they have a time slot here and then a box to write that in. Or if you have calls you have to make it certain times, that would be great. We have some more silver metallic. These are dumbbell weights, hearts, um, looks like gift boxes for maybe birthdays or gifts, and then little TV um, icons as well. And these say today to do goals and errands. And then we have more checklist boxes. This is a longer box um, than would normally fit in a regular day of your horizontal vertical planner, but it would fit great in the hourly. This is a smaller box, um, so you'd have a little more space in your vertical planner. And that has a couple washi strips here. This is a gold metallic. And then we have more boxes here. Again, you could put the icons in here and list whatever you're doing there. And this is rose gold washi there. And that is the last page. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to my review of the back to school collection items. Again, these items will be available on July 6th on the Erin Condren website. On July 6th, I will update the description of this video to include links to each product that we saw. I will also include the pricing there so that you can go ahead and get your shopping list ready for July 6th. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge, huge thank you to Tori, Sam, and the Erin Condren team for sending me these products to review. I am so very thankful. And one more thing, guys, I want to hear your opinion on these items. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of the items, what your favorites, what your least favorites were, and what you're looking forward to the most. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.